Early Life of Wayne Bowden He was born in Dundas, Ontario in 1948. He lived a normal childhood. He was loved and admired by his teachers and peers, successful in school, and attended Glendale Secondary School in mid-1960s. Behavioral signatures, entranced by the act of breastfeeding, obsession with female breasts, sadism, engages in rough sex until he finally kills his victim, method of murder is strangulation, needs dominance, modus operandi, bite marks on breasts. First victim, Shirley Audet. She was killed October 3, 1969 in downtown Montreal. She was found dumped at the back of her apartment complex. Audet was raped and had savage bite marks on her breasts. The method of her murder was strangulation. There was no evidence of struggle against the assailant. Second victim, Marielle Archambault. She was killed on November 23, 1969 in Montreal. She left work with a man named Bill, who she introduced to her co-workers. She did not report to work the next day. She was discovered naked on the living room floor. She was strangled and vicious bite marks were left on her breasts. Signs of struggle against assailant were present in her apartment. Police found a picture of Bill in her apartment but could not connect to any known subject. Jean Wei. She was killed on January 16, 1970. The victim's boyfriend, Brian Kayafield, found the body. It was also found that the front door was unlocked. Jean's naked body was found on the sofa. She was strangled and her breast had bite marks. It was slight struggle against assailant. <coughs> I am live here on location where another victim is found dead. Police reports state that the victim Elizabeth Porches has been raped before she was strangled to death. It has been reported that distinct bite marks were found on her breast, just as similar to the ones found in three other murders in Montreal. Wayne Bowden is now under custody with the Canadian police. Elizabeth Ann Porches is a 33-year-old High school teacher, who was Bowden's last victim, killed on May 18, 1971 in Calgary. She was presumably seeing a man named Bill and showed considerable signs of struggle against the assailant. She was raped, strangled, and there were hasty bite marks on her breasts. Police found broken cuff links under Elizabeth's dead body. <laughs> Bowden's arrest. During Protea's investigation, police found out that she was seen in a blue Mercedes that night of her death. A friend of Elizabeth informed the police that she was seeing a man named Bill, and the police made connections to three murders in Montreal, namely Bowden's victims. On May 19, 1970, Bowden was put into custody, and he informed the police that he recently moved to Montreal and was convicted and found guilty of the murders. Bowden admitted that he had been seeing Porteous and was with her on the night of the murder. He insisted that when he had left her, she had been alive. Admitted to the ownership of the cufflink found under Porteous. Police had the photo of Bill from Marielle's murder in Montreal. 
Bowden resembled picture, so police kept Bowden for suspicion in murder purchase. Police then turned their attention to the bite marks on the victim's breast. Along with the killings that occurred in Montreal, research shows how and why these people move on to become a serial killer. We're now here to see what psychologists think about Wayne Bowden's case. Today, we're here with Dr. O. Good morning, Dr. O. Good morning. Okay. In Wayne Bowden's case, he has a unique method upon murdering his victims. What do you think about motivates him? Hmm. In his case, it's there's this called sadomasochism. It's the act of inflicting pain or another willing partner has been well documented since the late 1800s. Sigmund Freud, a psychologist, himself studied the psychology of both sadism and mesochism in 1905, stating that these acts were rooted in the psyche of early childhood. A popular belief regarding sadism in particular might possibly begin with an infant biting and gnawing on the nipples of his mother. Though the child does not con consciously remember this particular act in adulthood, he may have a subconscious memory of the enjoyment when he felt when in a subtle biting at the nipples of the or an areolas of his mother. In a similar way, development psychologist Dr. S believes that sadomasochism affects someone's development. How does it affect or does it affect people psychologically? Well, the act of breastfeeding has a lasting effect on some infants, especially when being weaned from their mother's natural milk. The child may find himself angry with his mother, believing that the act of withholding the breast from her child is a direct punishment or a reprimand for doing something wrong. While some children are not weaned easily from their mother's breast, becoming literally attached to their mother's chest. Mothers are particularly um, let's say close to the child, um, they find it more difficult to give a bottle of formula. Um, it is because breastfeeding, it is because of breastfeeding for after six to nine months. Um, some mothers continue breastfeeding until the child is four to six years old because of this hardship. Okay, thank you. What can you say about this case as a psychologist? Well, although it is unknown why a serial killer, Wayne Bowden, had, had a, such a bizarre fascination for female breasts, um, he might not only have a possible traumatizing weaning accident as an infant, not only was Bowden intensely attached to the breasts, but he was very much interested in sadism. And um, by biting the breasts of the victims, he was fully fulfilling his need to like wreck to show the wreck as uh, shown in the wreck of the damage of the rest that he fulfilled his need of um, sadomasochism and uh, you could also see that nipping through the breast of his victims was not enough for him. Um, he would find that he could uh, reach a powerful sexual gratification by ripping at the flesh. Also he became massively interested in drawing blood and essentially this indulges himself in vampirism. So we could say that Bowden liked the taste of blood, especially when it came directly from the breasts. Thank you, Dr. S. 